George King, I'm a composer, pianist, living up here in Manchester. Um, I kind of cross over into quite a few genres, but mainly the classical and the jazz side, so I write both and perform both. MJF Originals' uh, piece is entitled Songs of the Caged Bird. Um, it's a song cycle for jazz singer and string octet and piano. Um, and the piece is kind of a snapshot of American culture, kind of circa 1700s right through to contemporary uh, contemporary writings. And it's kind of about race relations, race relations between the African Americans and I guess the white Americans uh, and kind of what their journey really. The original inspiration for the piece was from a book uh, I read maybe three years ago entitled The Negro Caravan. Um, in it is a collection of writings from ex-slaves, first generation politicians, um, and novels and poems and various political writings about the kind of black experience really. I started with a poem about the slave auction, uh, a typical slave trade of the time. Um, through to kind of a slave revolt and then we're into the kind of Jim Crow era. It's obviously strange fruit we're talking uh, um, there. And then kind of through to Mayo Angeli. So it was very much chronological as in I wanted to tell a story. And then obviously through that as a journey continued I included uh, speeches by Martin Luther King as kind of audio excerpts. <laughs> Dorian's always been kind of a big part of the Manchester jazz scene and uh, having worked with Dorian, not a lot, but on a, a number of occasions, she's got that rare ability to kind of communicate to an audience that not a lot of singers or horn players or pianists do. She does a, she really kind of draws people into her sound world and how she's feeling with the song, whether it's just a little jazz ballad. Uh, she really she really pulls, pulls an audience in. So. If you're a writer, that's what you need. You need someone to be able to communicate that sentiment that you originally conceived on paper. She's uh, and she's one of the best at that, so that's why she was the only choice for me, actually. Blow down the leaves, blow down the root. Black bodies swinging in the sun. With Manchester Jazz Festival and this, uh, the, the originals, I think before anything else, actually, the, the, having a major arts festival, have an open call about writing a big piece for the for the festival is unheard of in this country. I think it's fantastic. Uh, when I got the phone call about getting the commission, it was I was just excited. It's <coughs> as a young, as I say, as a young composer, you're always wanting projects, and for you to be able to say this is what I want to do and for them to say okay go and do it is it, you don't you just don't get that normally it's, it's always kind of the talked about gig of the festival so it's great to have that opportunity and then also once you've got that it's to kind of the media profile it brings with it, which you don't necessarily think about actually when you receive the commission, but suddenly you'd be at a gig and someone will say, oh, I saw you in this magazine, I saw you in that magazine, and your picture's there. I think the originals has given the Manchester Jazz Festival an even bigger profile. It's uh, When you're looking at commissioning new work, it's an important part of any... If you want to be a major festival, it needs to happen. Um, and obviously what makes the difference with the original scheme is it's an open call rather than kind of behind closed doors we've commissioned this composer they've really opened it up to composers in the northwest and as i say that's unheard of um so all of a sudden you kind of you got a festival with all these great gigs and a kind of showpiece for creating new music so it's uh, it's really added to the prestige of the festival Things are cold, but I